Hi everyone, today I'll be making the Nuka Cola bottle cap from Fallout 3 and Fallout 4. I'll teach you how to make this cap with affordable materials and household items. Let's begin. For this project, you will need any sandpaper of your choice, a bunch of bottle caps. Trust me, you're gonna be wanting all of these. Any crazy glue of your choice. I already had this one laying around. Used it a couple times. That's why you see the cap is kinda screwed up. A pair of scissors. Last thing you will need is a printout of all the Nuka Cola logos for the bottle caps. Now that we have all of our materials, let's start. Take your bottle cap and take the sandpaper. What you're going to do with these, you're going to use the sandpaper to kind of weather the bottle cap down. Sanding down the very top of the bottle cap is not really necessary, as our main focus is really the sides of the bottle cap. That's what's going to be showing once we glue on the logo. As you can see here, I'm having a little bit of trouble with the sandpaper and the little crown edges. Then I started using a pair of scissors because it actually helped me a little bit more. It gave it that really good weathered effect and I gave it that ring uh, around the very top. Once your bottle cap is really weathered, you're going to take your sheet of paper and you're going to cut out the Nuka Cola look. I really tried taking my time with these, cutting them out and making them look good. Uh, some of the edges were kind of not round, not completely round at least. But remember, it's been in a nuclear apocalypse, so if you do screw up a bit, it doesn't matter. It actually makes it look a, a little bit more realistic. Take your crazy glue and your cutout and start spreading crazy glue all over the cap. Glue down the Nuka Cola logo and it will turn out like this. Now comes the paint. The paint isn't really that necessary. I actually chose it just to give it more of that Fallout vibe. But if you don't want to do it, it's really up to you. If you want to leave it like it just came out of the factory, that's fine. But if you want a post-war Nuka Cola bottle cap, I suggest adding a little bit of black paint to make it look like it's actually been in a nuclear apocalypse. I use the dry brush technique with a little bit of black paint just to give it that burnt kind of vibe. When it comes to the weathering and the painting, there's really nothing to go about. You can just paint wherever you want. I really went randomly here and uh, it actually came out pretty well. You could also use a match or a lighter to actually burn it a little bit, but very lightly. If not, you're going to burn through the paper and it looks good, but I don't recommend it. I've been wanting to make this video for a long time now, but uh, I just haven't had the time to. I've also wanted to make the Fallout Pip Boy. Uh, um, Fallout Pip. What, what's it called? Pip Boy 2000? Yeah, Mark IV, I think. Um, that's the one that appeared in the Fallout 76 trailer, and honestly, it looks really dope. I actually tried making the Fallout 4 Pip Boy. Um, Let's just say I never finished it, so <laughs> hopefully in the future I'll continue with that project as well. But the Fallout 76 Pip-Boy looks really challenging, and that's what I like. So if you guys do want a tutorial on that Pip-Boy or the one from the Fallout 76, then uh, I I'd honestly love to get my hands on a Pip-Boy before the game releases. Give it those finishing touches. Make it look like it's been in an explosion or something, and you got it off a raider. And uh, make it look real dirty, really nice, really Fallout vibe. Now, once you're done with that, 
You can make a whole variety of these. You can really get very creative, like this one. I made it look very burnt. But you also have the other extreme, I guess you could call it, where it's really not that dirty, you know? It looks like it's been inside a building for a very long time. This one seems like it's been in combat or it's been dropped and uh, it hasn't been treated well. With this one, I went full on and I went crazy with the paint. I made it look really, really screwed up and uh, overall really burnt. With this one, it was a lighter touch when it came to the black and uh, you can see those dark touches at the very top. This one I actually uh, spread a bunch of super glue at the very top, um, but it came out pretty well actually. <laughs> Surprisingly I did the same thing with this one, um, and yeah, basically those are that's how you make a Fallout bottle cap. You can get your Fusion Core and your Fallout 3 boy and uh, basically just enjoy your bottle caps and get your Nuka-Cola bottles. Get ready to ride the hype train for Fallout 76. Almost dropped the Lone Wanderer there. If you guys do want me to make a tutorial on how to make these um, Nuka-Cola Nuka -Cola, um, bottles. This one's for Fallout 3 and I have the Fallout 4 one as well. If you guys do want a tutorial on those, just comment and let me know. I really appreciate it guys. Um, share, comment, and definitely su subscribe because uh, I'll be posting more of these. Welcome guys to the Prop Garage and uh, thank you guys. Hope you enjoyed the video and see you next time.